Hey guys, welcome back to Steel Nation Australia. All right, guys. So I made a big mistake. I just recorded. I recorded freaking everything. I just recorded uh, ten minutes of me talking about what I'm going to record now. So here we go, Steelers. Here we go. Made a rookie error. I just recorded without recording. So yeah. Okay, guys. Um, happy Fourth of July. Happy Fourth of July to uh, to you guys in America. Your Independence Day. Uh, you know. Um, from the colonies and from the British Empire and stuff like that. So yeah, happy Independence Day for the 4th of July. But I want to go on, uh, I want to show you guys uh, my tour that I did with me and my father uh, back in 2019, just before the pandemic hit. So let me bring this up. Just before the pandemic hit, let me go, whoa! You can't see that, right? Yeah, just before the pandemic hit, uh, I took my dad to the States. And now that we're recording, you guys can understand what I'm saying a little bit. So... I called it the New York to Nowhere tour. Let me let me start this, and I should be able to stop along the way. But um, here we go. Cool, cool, cool. So New York to Nowhere tour. Uh, the idea was to, yeah, go from uh, New York to Philadelphia, Washington, uh, Gettysburg, Gettysburg, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, and Buffalo. So let's go. Let's have a look. Hope you guys are doing well, by the way. <sighs> okay, this is this look. This is better now that it's recording. Uh, okay, so you have Australia here in the States, and guys, it is a long way. Like, it's so far away from Australia to the States, about 19 hours flight time. So it takes about 14 hours to go Sydney, uh, Sydney to LA, then LA to New York is about five hours or four hours. So about 19 hours flight time uh, overall in total, which is crazy. So here it is. All right. So we got, we landed in New York City on the right-hand side. We then went on to Philadelphia. Washington, Gettysburg is somewhere around there. Like the arrow is not right on it, but somewhere there. Uh, Gettysburg, Pittsburgh, Buffalo, Niagara Falls. So New York, Philadelphia, Washington, Gettysburg, Pittsburgh, uh, Buffalo, Niagara Falls. That's the trip. That's the big trip we did over about three weeks. Right. So we'll go into. I'll show you guys some photos. Uh, and why this is why I love America. But this is one thing too, guys. I have a rule. Uh, I have a rule that I go by every time I go to New York City, I've been there twice and I've made this rule up. So no matter what, uh, when I land there, the first like activity or first touristy thing I have to do is go and say my respects to the memorial uh, that is of the 9-11. So respects to the people of 9-11 who passed away um, in a tragic, terrible, should never bloody happened ever, ever right? And the families of those people, and also the people who are still going through the long side effects of 9-11. There are still people out there that have like lung issues uh, from the falling debris uh, who were traumatized from the 9-11. There are so many people out there still affected by the, a the act of 9-11. It just doesn't stop on that day. It, it goes on continuously for these families that have been affected. So my rule is to take to, before I go and climb Empire State Building, walks Central Park, walk the Brooklyn Bridge, I have to go in and sit down and pay respects to the families of 9-11 that they're going, they're going through it now and in the past. So that was one picture I took of um, uh, the new building there, uh, the, new trade, the new trade center. However, I don't take photos. I don't take any selfies, no selfies inside 9-11. I don't, I don't think that's, that's like you don't take, it's, it's, mm, it's like a grave site. You don't take too many photos or selfies of where the, the, the act happened, if that makes sense, right? It just does it with disrespect. So that's my rule. Go there first and say my respects and then continue on our journey. So myself and my father went there first. Uh, New York City, that was our first day. Went and said, paid our respects. And then along the way, we end up going to, uh, I think it's coming up next. Here we go. So we have the... Um, the Staten Island, Island Ferry on the left-hand side, that picture there, go on the Staten Island, it was cool. So many people on that ferry. In the middle there, we have Central Park. It's one of my favorite photos ever. Uh, Central Park right there in the middle is, it looks like a puzzle piece, does it not? It looks like something you get out of a box if you, you would create the puzzle. So all those people, it's, my, it's one of my favorite photos I've ever taken. Uh, now on the right-hand side, and I'm, and I'm lucky I have it too because I accidentally deleted about, 200 250 photos of this trip by accident i only have about 30 35 photos uh, on the right hand side is a Bro brooklyn bridge where myself and my dad we walked along there too so we had a good time um on the staten island ferry and we had the uh central park and brooklyn bridge so let's move forward 
and I'm glad I'm recording this time. I can see that I can see it's recording. <laughs> Shit. Oh man. Oh mercy. Okay, so guys, Empire State Building. This is my father at a hotel. So he was, I think, in 1969 or 1970, about 50 odd years ago, he went to America for a camping trip, right? And he went to New York for an overnight stay. My dad went for an overnight stay in this hotel. He arrived about like 12 or 1, 1 a.m. or something like that, right? Or really late at night. And he only had one night in New York City. So he really wanted to go see the Empire State Building, right? And because I only have one night in, in New York City, I was like, well, I've only got one night. Once I'm settled down, chuck my gear away, I'm, I'm going to go walk to the Empire State Building. This hotel where he stayed was about six blocks or eight blocks away or nine blocks away from uh, the Empire State Building, right? And his, his goal idea was to walk, you know, at 1 a.m., 2 a.m., uh, not knowing not in, a, in, a, in a foreign location to the Empire State Building and take a look. However, he didn't know that at the time during the, the 1970s, uh, you know, things were quite hectic over there. Uh, there were some gang related stuff. There were some really sketchy things going on. So he didn't feel too comfortable walking outside at 2 a.m. And I wouldn't feel too comfortable in any city walking outside at 2 a.m. You've got to put your, you know, uh, have, you, have your back on a swivel and make sure you're, you know, you, you're, you're, you're cognizant, you know, you know what's going on. So dad walked out there at 2 a.m. He made about 100 yards and he felt, yeah. I don't feel too safe. So he didn't end up, my dad didn't end up seeing uh, the Empire State Building at that time. He got in the bus the next day and he did his America trip all over America. He didn't see the Empire State Building. So my goal was to get my dad to go see it. We went and saw the Empire State Building. And also on the right-hand side is um, the hotel that he stayed at. So I researched and found out the exact hotel that he stayed at because he knew the name. No idea what it's called now. No idea what it's called back then, but he knew the name. And he found, we found the same hotel that he stayed in and that was cool. So we found the hotel and then we walked from the hotel to go and find the Empire State Building. So that was really cool to see. I've never seen the Empire State Building. Uh, I have been to America, to a New York once before, but we didn't go and see it. Uh, actually, no, I lied. I think I did see it. I didn't see the, uh, the, Rock, the Rockefeller one. Anyways, onward to Philly. So Philadelphia was next. So New York to Philadelphia. So we have there the Rocky Steps. I went up and climbed there. That was kind of cool. Run up the steps. Uh, myself in the middle is that is the Independence Hall where they signed the document uh, that is today is all about the, the 4th of July and the picture of me and dad on the right hand side is the Liberty Bell so liberty and freedom for all so uh, that was fun man Philadelphia is, is full of such history and a lot of people think that these these things were were you know um, made in Washington but everything kind of started in Philadelphia and then now Washington is like the political space, but everything, the core of America kind of started in Philadelphia. This is where a lot of things happened. So that was kind of cool to see. Um, yeah, I look a bit different, don't I? <laughs> I'm a bit skinnier. Okay, uh, what's next? So I think next we go on to Washington. Washington is next, and this was fun too. So this is the, the tomb of the unknown soldier. Where they, where they want, where one soldier guards this. So they change, they change every like half an hour or so. But one soldier guards this right now. As you're watching the video right now, a soldier is guarding the tomb of the unknown soldier. They guard that 365 days a year, 24/7, rain, hail, or shine. If there's a nuclear bomb going off, you better believe there's one guy guarding that. Um, and just another cool picture of Washington as well with the um, obelisk. There it was cool. It was a cool day out there too. It was qu quite nice. Um, but yeah, what's fascinating the most is the, I guess, the ritual that they do or the, or the, the, uh, the ceremony where uh, ceremony where the, the, the guard goes, walks up and down 22 steps. And it's fantastic. It's so much fun. All right, let's see what's next. Uh, I'm, I'm, I can't even remember what I did. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. This guy, I just wanted to bring up, man, I took a picture of this mummy dude and he's like 2000 years old, but he kind of looks like uh, me after like 10 drinks. That's how I feel like when I've had 10, 12 beverages and I am just done. Uh, but that was a cool photo. That was a mummy. Man, I don't know how they, I don't know how it's not me. Shoof. That's a real person. That's like 2000 years old. So that's crazy. Um, that was kind of cool to see, but the guy's in a bit of trouble. Next, we went from Washington to Gettysburg. So Washington to Gettysburg, Gettysburg, 
in for me and my father, it's always been a time that we wanted to, you know, go there and learn more about Gettysburg too. So uh, with such rich history as well, this was a view too from Little Round Top, one of the, the battles over, I think, three days, 90 odd thousand people died. Uh, sorry, 90 odd thousand people were injured or died. I think about 30,000 people died in Gettysburg. So I want to share a quick story with you guys. I went and talked to a bloke in the middle of the street, just some, just some random guy, uh, some guy, you know, selling something like selling, you know, mugs or t-shirts. And I said to him, mate, is there any ghosts here? Is there any ghosts in, um, you know, Gettysburg? And he said to me, and it still sticks to me this day, there's no ghosts in Gettysburg, but where you're standing, right? Where you're standing right now at this shop, there's, there could have been two or three people buried underneath you. So the war was that crazy, the civil war and the, the three day battle of Gettysburg was that crazy with 90 odd thousand people injured, 30 odd thousand died. They couldn't bury everyone in, in, in graveyards. So what they did was wherever they fall, that's where they buried them. They, wherever they were shot and fell and whatever happened, they would leave them there and bury them. There's over, I think, 1,100, 1,100 to 1,200 monuments uh, for, for all kinds of military ranks surrounding the city. It's a natural, I think it's like a, it's a heritage site. You can't even, you can't even go in there and you can't dig anything up. You can't do anything. So uh, it's a, such a crazy place and such a special place. And if you're, if you are American, I would suggest to at some stage during your life, get down there and have a look around at Gettysburg because it's insane. Right. So from Gettysburg, I think we then go on to uh, Pittsburgh. So here we go, Steelers. So I've been to Pittsburgh now three times in total. On the left-hand side is me. Uh, my dad took that photo, good photo of me and my town in, in Pittsburgh and Heinz Field. And we have one of the bridges there. So I've been there three times. I've been there once by myself, sorry, twice by myself and um, once with my dad. So we took a photo here of Mount Washington holding the terrible towel. Fantastic. So much fun out there. And I can't wait. If you haven't been to Pittsburgh yet, you will get there. You will get there. Trust me. I've been there three times. I consider it my home. And hopefully I can go back there in the future in the next few years. So that was awesome day out there. Another photo of um, Heinz Field where I went on, a, went on a tour. The Pittsburgh tour was great too. Uh, what's next? I think I have a picture of Pittsburgh. And then we go on to, I think it's Buffalo. Uh, yeah, Buffalo. There. <laughs> picture of a Buffalo or Bison. Uh, we went on to Buffalo after Pittsburgh. And then we went up to here as well. So in Buffalo, this is like one of their, this, this was the highest tower. I think before the Empire State Building was built, the highest point in maybe North America, but at least like East of America, the highest point. So that was fun to climb up. Nothing much going on there. It was pretty quiet. Then we went on from Buffalo to Niagara Falls too. So it was my dad's dream to go to Niagara Falls uh, for his bucket list. I have not seen Niagara Falls either. So you can see the pictures there. Just fantastic. Uh, the right-hand side, the right-hand side there is a picture of from the Canadian side, which is kind of cool. You go over the border to Canada and you, you go up a, a lift or whatever, a big tower, and you check out the whole falls. That's probably the best views from the Canadian side, but the American side's fun. We stayed on the American side. I had, a, I had a good time. And I think my last picture of Niagara Falls here is my dad uh, riding his bike because he had his goal was to, in this whole tour from New York to, you know, to Niagara Falls or New York to nowhere, um, his whole idea was to, to, you know, get back and go see Niagara Falls. So it was fantastic that he'd never seen Niagara Falls. And we got there, stayed there seven days. Such a great place. Such a good time. But guys, that, that ends my presentation. Uh, overall, that ends my presentation. So happy 4th of July. And this, this photo was taken uh, from Pittsburgh, the American flag and the state uh, state flag of Pittsburgh. But yeah, guys, happy, uh, happy 4th of July. I just want to give you guys a big shout out. So... Happy 4th of July. Uh, it's your Independence Day. Now, I, I love the American culture. I love how you guys have barbecues. I love how you guys have uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas and everyone's, uh, you guys are so patriotic, right? So I love all that kind of stuff. Um, I do respect that you have the, the you know, uh, the Bill of Rights and all those kind of things and the independence you fought off the, the British Empire coming in and you've made America, you know, land of the free. So... I do respect all those elements. Uh, and obviously, Australia is pretty different. Australia is, I'm not going to talk about what's been happening in the last two or three years and what I think is happening. But um, we haven't got the freedoms here 
that Americans do in, in America. So hopefully you guys, uh, you know, enjoyed that presentation. And yeah, like there's, there's so much history and culture to America that for an outsider looking in, it's so fun to explore and, and learn about. So, but, you know, happy Independence Day because 4th of July means so much to so many people uh, with, with the struggles that, with the wars, the, the, the revolutionary war that was going through the time and then lasted like another, what, 10 years or so after that and the civil wars and all these things that America's been through. Uh, so much history involved in, uh, you know, being being a patriot and being an American uh, American citizen. I know there's a lot going on between left and right and upside down, who's fighting who, who's fighting that. But at the end of the day, you have respect for your country, I would say. Uh, I have respect for my country. I'm Australian. That's what I do. But you have respect for your country. And I think 4th of July, that day, could also be celebrated for a week or for a month, or it should be celebrated year, year round because, because it is so special to so many people and what it means to be an American. I can't, e I can't even imagine what it means to be an American uh, for the rights and freedoms you guys have under the, the Bill of Rights and you know the, the Constitution. We don't have that in Australia. So we don't have those kind of things. Uh, if I say anything wrong, sh see you later. You know, but um, that's for another, another podcast, another day. But overall, guys, uh, happy 4th of July and hopefully you enjoyed that video. I'll see you later. Here we go, Steelers. Here we go.